Okay, so I just got done watching a video from Switch to Linux, and uh, I don't watch his videos very often, but he did make me aware of this other video by Google, which is called The Selfish Ledger. And um, The Selfish Ledger is something I'm not really personally surprised about, because if you read some of the books that are somewhat in the wheelhouse of the creators of Google and the people that uh, are, they're kind of like they treat technology as their religion. Um, they think that there's gonna be the technological singularity like the Ray Kurzweil type folks. And a lot of them, they believe that they want to, you know, uh, transcend, like the transcendence movie, like, uh, you know Johnny Depp they want to transcend their body they want to have access to absolutely everything all the knowledge known to man no rules or regulation should uh, hold them back um, I can't remember what the book was called but I read this book a while ago it was a long time ago it was like a few years back and uh, basically the entire premise was this this one guy was a pretty smart guy he uh, got together with some other smart guys after he created this AI and then the AI helped him um, kind of develop his own humanity and beat the system, gain a ton of capital and slowly incrementally it got better and better until he created like his own uh, alternate country out in the ocean and all the other countries, the powerful countries of the world were trying to take them down. Um, but they eventually, uh, you know, beat them and they said, we're going to do whatever we want and we're going to make it so that, you know, uh, all these good things that we design and create are, are given to the rest of the world or whatever. So, I mean, it had kind of like a good ending. I mean, if it was going to end like that, that'd be pretty awesome, I suppose, you know, but there's also the kind of fallout, the dystopian future uh, possibilities, you know, like 1984, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, other things that people think could happen, right? And uh, I kind of, I'm kind of glad this topic came up because I was already kind of planning on doing that from, from this year. I was, uh, one of the things I've been trying to do is track, you know, health and, you know, what I'm doing with my body and, eating habits and all sorts of other stuff. Just, you know, as a lot of people usually do with New Year's and everything. But um, one of the other things was I just kind of wanted to kind of narrow down my focus because I kind of felt like I was getting uh, stretched too thin with uh, having way too many topics going on in my head. It was, it was way too many uh, things to focus on. It's like if you start getting into politics, you start getting into um, – you know, fantasy, you start getting into well, such as D&D &D and gaming and stuff like that, like some, some of the stuff that I like to do to just uh, relax sometimes. Or if you get into reading books and you get into programming, you get in, I mean, even programming in itself, you can get into this whirlwind of overly, oh, too much information for you to be able to keep up with. Like, you want to keep up with AI, you want to keep up with Linux, you want to keep up with... Um, you know, so many different things. So what I've been doing is uh, kind of going through all my subscriptions and just getting rid of the stuff that isn't serving me, right? And I think that, um, you know, I, I'm a Linux enthusiast and the things that they're, that, you know, Switch to Linux said about this stuff, I kind of, you know, I agree with a lot of what he said, but the thing is, things like YouTube and Google, they, they can be easily replaced. And I know that, you know, he said that, you know, some people don't really believe that they don't, they don't, uh, they don't think about those types of things. And I mean, it's just like my, my space, when my space fell out of popularity, whether that's a conspiracy <laughs> or not, I don't think it is, but when it fell out of popularity, um, there was an alternate platform. People went to that. And it, it kind of 
it happens sometimes, and I think it'll happen again. I don't think Google's immune. Uh, just like Microsoft was the, the big dog on the hill, then Mac came along, and then now we have Chrome OS, and we have Android, we have you know iPhones. There's so many different things now. I don't think that uh, they have a monopoly. I mean, I, I do think if you consider the standards in the past that Microsoft was broken up, uh, some of these tech companies should be broken up, but you know, that's another topic, I suppose. But I just wanted to say that you, you control your experience on these platforms and that let the algorithm do what the algorithm is going to do. Don't worry about Google's algorithm because there's other websites, <laughs> right? You just use uh, YouTube as a hosting platform. Then Reddit, you know, there's, uh, I mean, there's so many other web, Twitter, all these other websites, you know, some less popular websites, you know, like uh, Minds or whatever, but you can use all these other websites. You don't have to rely on YouTube search uh, algorithm. I mean, for example, you don't want to use Google because you know, you're afraid of them harvesting all of your searches and selling them and creating a big profile on you and then giving it to the NSA or whatever, which they probably do. Um, just use Bing and then get paid for it because Bing will reward you for using their search engine. It's not much, but I mean, they give you like $5 a month or something, or you can use something like DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is, uh, is probably just as good as Google for the most part. I mean, I use you know, all three of them sometimes just to, to check and see what the difference is or whatever, but it's all, uh, it's all a lot of things that you're never going to, you're never going to totally, you know, control all those different types of things unless you just refuse to stay in contact with anyone or you're not a part of any community. So I, I don't know what uh, the, the selfish ledger algorithm. I mean, yes, they're going to learn about you. They're going to figure out what you like. But the thing is, is you change. You learn new information, you grow, right? And so anytime that they learn something new about you, you're learning something new about it, right? So it's not like, uh, I, I would say it's not controlling you. Uh, you know, we have these Android phone devices and they make little pouches that you can cut off the signal, you know? You can turn them off at night these computers, you can turn them off. And uh, I'm not going to get into a big long um, rant on, you know, the possibilities of AI and Elon Musk's idea of it, about it being something akin to summoning the demon, which I do think there is some uh, validity in that thinking. Um, but all I'm saying is uh, it's not... It's not that big of a deal yet. I don't think you have to worry about it. And uh, what I think people should definitely worry about is just continuing to support Linux because it's awesome and uh, making things better, making it more secure, making Linux, you know, so good and use uh, services that are available, making those services so much better that why would you want to use the alternatives other than, you know, your own familiarity? Because I think that's oftentimes what most people do. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue on this little project I was working on. And uh, I should have a new video out about the, the Jeep Wrangler I was talking about last in my last video. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys uh, have a good one.